The first question we want to answer is now that patients are established and they know that they have diabetes, one of the first questions they ask me, Doc, how can I treat this without medication? What can I do to improve or correct this dysfunction of my insulin production and my insulin resistance? Well, that's a very good question because, in fact, part of the treatment involves a change in your lifestyle. The studies have shown that diet, along with a form of aerobic type exercise, can improve your overall hemoglobin A1C and can improve your diabetes mellitus management, especially if you're on the what we consider borderline or early stages of diabetes type 2. In terms of diet, I recommend initially patients stop using any high sugar or high glucose drinks in their daily regimen. In other words, all fruit juices, all soft drinks, and all drinks basically associated with high levels of sugar should be eliminated. The patient should focus on a lot of hydration with natural water and drinks that are basically low in calorie or zero in calories. This allows the patient's overall calorie intake to be reduced during that day. The other part of the diet that I emphasize that needs to be modified is lowering their overall starches. In other words, starches that are associated with refined flours and cornmeal should be reduced significantly. For example, pastas, breads, tortilla or chips, rice, all these staples in our daily diet should be reduced significantly. Most people find it difficult at first to stop them completely, and I don't usually ask them to stop them, but they should be significantly reduced so that those overall starches are reduced and that helps lower the calorie intake. I emphasize a higher protein diet, such as uh, chicken breast or fish, as far as protein. We focus also on legumes like beans and vegetables in high fiber, fruits with high fiber. Also in the diet, there should be a limitation on the amounts of sweets, such as baked cookies, baked cakes, ice cream, Anything that has high amounts of sugar and fat should be reduced in the diet significantly. I usually also recommend that the patient start an exercise regimen. And what I mean by exercise, I mean an aerobic type conditioning program. Usually I ask the patient for a brisk walking regimen which includes 20 minutes of daily walking in the morning and maybe 20 minutes in the afternoon twice a day. And they don't have to run a marathon, I ask them, but they should at least try to start getting some type of uh, exercise daily so that this allows the glucose levels to reduce as you're exercising.